checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. So I was thinking about what kind of video I could actually make for my viewers today. All right, guys. Now, every year I change up my strategy, right? And last year was the year of passive income, right? I'm still going to be doing passive income, so I'll still talk about DeFi projects on the channel, okay, guys? But, you know, if many of you have been following the channel for a while, you know that we've taken some very serious hits on in excuse me, in DeFi, right, it doesn't put me off, but um, it does kind of remind me that I need to kind of figure out other ways to make passive income, all right, guys, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the things that I've been doing, okay, one of them is trading, which I spoke to you guys about, uh, the other day I did show you a sneak peek into what I was doing in trading, right, um, we're going to talk about this particular uh, project, Dopex rebate token, which is an options trading token, however, I'm invested in this token. It's just an investment. I'm not trading on this platform, but you guys might want to take a look at it. All right, guys, but you can trade decentralized. I've been trading on Bybit, right? I showed you this account the other day. I actually put $3,900 into this account, okay, uh, on the 31st of January. And um, I'm seeing a profit of uh, roughly $3,000. Okay, no, sorry, $2,000. I did actually get this account up to 8,000. Right, over 8,000, I did take some losses. Okay, guys, um, it's important to kind of show people that, you know, you can win trades, but you can also lose trades on, you know, leverage trading, right? And uh, I made a couple of bad trades, but uh, it's, part of the, it's part of the process, right? You win some, you lose some. The aim is to make more than what you lose. So I am st sit still sitting in a decent profit okay of more than two thousand dollars okay I, in fact it was more, i've got more of a profit than that i did actually withdraw six hundred dollars of ethereum uh to send somewhere else to do something right um but um yeah so really we're looking at you know two thousand seven hundred two thousand eight hundred dollar profit on this account minus the losses okay with the losses would have been sitting at like a uh a, a uh, a, a 4,800 profit, okay, within the space of a couple of days, okay, guys, so I'm continuing to trade right now, I am actually in a trade, I'm in a trade on Algo, uh, one of the reasons I'm in this trade, right, as you can see this downward sloping resistance on Algo has been broken, right, okay, I'm not sure if you can see that line, let's just adjust the color for you, make it a bit thicker, just so you can actually see it, if you can't see it, Let's just uh, make that far. Okay, so you can see that line on algo, right? And what you can see is that we have broken this resistance. If we zoom in, okay, if we zoom in, we've broken this resistance on algo, which is why I've entered into this trade. Okay, guys, but this does require you to kind of, you know, keep an eye on Bitcoin, right? Because if Bitcoin decides to dump, algo is going to take a dump as well. Uh, but Bitcoin does look like it's still trying to kind of make some upside and it is still in an uptrend and could potentially break out this level. So if it does that, then Algo is probably going to move with it and we'll see ourselves in a decent profit. You see, I'm actually in a profit at the moment. Been holding this trade since yesterday. OK, not sure if you can see these lines that I've got here. We do have a little range that I'm hoping it will break out of that range. And we could potentially hit a target of 40 cents. And if not 40 cents, at worst case, you know, maybe around, you know, um, maybe around 30 cents. OK, but 40 cents will be a lovely profit on this particular trade. And just to show you um, how I look at these things, right? Uh, because basically, I used to trade, right? I used to trade a lot more. When I first started this channel, it was a TA channel. For those of you that have been following me all the way from the beginning, and we were making money basically trading, mostly on low-cap altcoins, okay? On Bitmart, things like that. Some of you, let me know in the comments if you've been here since the beginning and you remember. We did transition into DeFi somewhere along the line, okay, guys? And a lot of the profits we made we were putting into passive incomes, okay, guys? But that's not going so well right now. Although it has sustained me for a while, um, I am back into trading. Okay, guys. So let's just have a look. If I was to, if this, if this was to hit the target, right? If this was to hit thirty cents, okay, that will put me at a profit on this trade of approximately two thousand one hundred and thirty-two dollars. If it hits the forty cent 
mark, that will be a nine and a half thousand dollar profit, guys. So that is the power of using leverage. This is merely just a 5x leverage trade, okay? Nothing crazy, no 10x, 15x, okay? Sometimes I do 10x, but um, I think it's, it's smart to use a low leverage um, on a decent account. Leave yourself some margin. Don't trade the whole amount, okay? Maybe 50%. Uh, 75% of your portfolio um, at most, um, unless you're really experienced, okay, you can go 100%, you know, kind of increase your bag if you're going to be in and out quickly. But I just thought I'd share that with you guys because, you know, you do need to consider, you know, other ways of making money in this market. You know, if if your main bread and butter doesn't go your way, you know, things like Drip Network, prices dumped, um, got rugged on a few projects recently, a lot of the projects that I was in and some of which I am still in, you know, um, you know, not going so well. Um, I will be putting some more money into potentially I'm actually waiting for a refund, right? Uh, 22,000. So I will potentially be dropping some of that profit into uh, the USDC contract once the refund is done, which should be at some point today. OK, guys, I did put one hundred dollars into the USDC contract to kind of see what the dividends are looking like if you have a look here hundred dollars i put in here so once we get the refund i might just throw you know eight to ten thousand dollars back into the usdc contract and kind of take out my initial investment what i put in i started with about fourteen thousand two hundred in the bsc uh in the usdt contract so um you know i might just take that out and allocate that elsewhere and I put something back into the system okay guys so still doing the passive income which is incorporating a bit of trading let me know if you want more videos like this ta potential trades and stuff like that on the channel let me know in the comments okay guys but let's talk about dopex so this is a coin that i recently invested in this is available on arbitrum so i've talked about the arbitrum network in a few videos okay guys i do believe that arbitrum is actually going to become one of the go-to places for DeFi, okay, guys? And um, there's going to be a huge need for this type of project. This is, if you think about uh, GMX, right? Dopex rebate token or RDPX is the token ticker, right? So this is basically an options trading platform. It's decentralized, okay? So um, you don't need to use Bybit or anything like that to do leverage trading and things like that, right? You can do this all through your wallet, your MetaMask or whatever, and kind of trade decentralized options. Okay, guys, so I really like this platform for the simple fact that it's low in market cap. Okay, the market cap is 68, 68 million at the time of recording this video, fully diluted at 131, so it's not too bad. And, um, you know, when you look at something like GMX, right, GMX is probably the number one for decentralized trading at the moment, right? GMX is sitting at 629 million market cap. And it's only really just broken resistance. Like GMX is actually starting to pump now, right? And I think, you know, with this narrative, right, we're going to see a lot of tokens, a lot of uh, good platforms actually begin to kind of take a leap. Okay, this is also available on Arbitrum. So this is the number one for Arbitrum. Okay, but Dopex for me is kind of similar. Okay, so coming up behind that, I'd say Dopex will be the one for me, uh, which I have invested in. Put about $4,000 into this token. So if this does a 10x, that would net me about $40,000. Okay, that would bring this to around the same type of market cap as GMX. Okay, so this is 10x lower than the GMX market cap, which makes it attractive to me. Okay, guys, and clearly you can see the chart. The chart is looking super bullish. Okay, if we pull up the chart on Dex Tools, okay, um, um, RDPX. Okay, let's just uh, pull up the chart on Dex Tools so we can have a look at it in candle form. In fact, let's just, uh, no, it doesn't have it available over there. But that does look pretty bullish, right? You can tell this is a bullish accumulation zone. You can see all that volume and it's starting to break out and we could potentially see higher highs on this token. It's got RDPX wrapped ethereum okay guys so this is going to be a super bullish chart right as you can see here um this is looking similar to like you know an ethereum market cycle right you can see a double bottom bottom over here bottom over there and now it's starting to break out these levels 
Okay, guys, let's just uh, draw a line. Okay, you can see it has broken this level, okay? And it's starting to build some support around this level. So I think that this could be a breakout and we could potentially start to see some massive waves and a huge up cycle on this particular token. It's going to be some resistance along the way around 95, 94, 95 cents. So a potential 100% move out once it breaks that resistance, sky's the limit on this particular token. And considering what it is, the low market cap, um, it's compared to GMX and things like that. Um, people are always going to be looking for great projects to kind of ape into. I've heard about this one on Twitter and stuff like that. I haven't looked at it before now. Uh, not before now, but before the other day when I first looked at it properly. And um, for me, it looks like a good potential bet. Okay, guys. The market cap is super low. Liquidity is decent. Okay, 9.4 in liquidity. Okay, in terms of TVL, okay, because that's another thing that you need to look at. So let's not forget about TVL. Okay, so TVL, if we launched the app, 61.2 million total value locked at the moment. So it's still super low in TVL, but there's a lot of potential for it. Okay, guys. Um, so I think that this could be a good option for you. You can buy this on Ethereum and you can buy it on Arbitrum. I chose to buy it on Arbitrum. Just like I said in previous videos, right, the more I transact on Arbitrum, the more potential there is for me to potentially get an airdrop if Arbitrum decides to launch a token. Okay, guys, and the fees are much cheaper than what it is on Ethereum. Of course, gas fees and so on, it literally costs a few cents. It's like using the Binance Smart Chain or the Phantom or Avalanche Network or whatever. It literally costs next to nothing to transact on Arbitrum. Okay, guys, so I think, you know, people need to take notice of things like Optimism, Arbitrum. I made some really good gains on Optimism, caught that pump. Okay, Phantom, I think, is great for DeFi as well. But I made some really decent gains on Phantom as well. I don't think the pump's over. I think that a lot of these tokens in this bull run are going to make millionaires. All right, guys, so keep that in mind. I just thought I'd share this video with you. Let me know if you really, you know, like the whole trading side of things. All right, guys, and whether you want more videos like that, let me know in the comments. Um, but if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Tick the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.